Yo, what's good? It's your boy b -Dell. I'm back with some more compelling information. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. But this video is primarily for those who study eschatology, which is the esoteric science of the end time. So we're going to be talking about the desolation process of the Vatican. We're going to be talking about the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones. And we're going to be talking about the spiritual ramifications of the symbology of the Sphinx closing its eyes and how it's connected to the universal laws of divine retribution that's connected to the planetary alignment of the Jubilee year that converts the planet back into a matrilineal system for a chosen people that's connected to nature and for a chosen people that's connected to all geographical landmasses on the planet through birthright. So with all that shit being said, this is basically the end game precursor to the Great Awakening, right? So first we're going to start out with um, the Sphinx. We're going to be breaking down the metaphysical and the esoteric reality of the Sphinx and how it's connected to uh, prophetic events in the future. Now, there's an article that came out said the images of the Egypt's iconic Sphinx statue with eyes closed uh, sparks nuclear uh, winter fears. So this is basically in alignment to the fact that when you read this passage right here, it is talking about uh, the awakening of a matriarchal system that's governed by a matrilineal system. So it's basically the symbology of the subjugation of the Moabite woman, which is sewn in the crescent's uh, badge and display of the head of the Finks, which is basically the crescent of Islam. So the headdress is basically in alignment to the fact that it represents the hexa alpha symbol, which is basically a dualistic charm. It is basically uh, the unification of man and woman together that's basically working in synergy with nature under a matriarchy because the inception of the planet and how everything was created was a matriarch because it was all women on the planet first. So this basically symbolizes the fact that the Moabite and the Moorish woman is basically uh, the true key to humanity. And the Sphinx is the Masonic symbol of the Moabite Moorish woman. So now when it says, when she wakes up, a change will, co uh, will, change will come. So when the Sphinx eyes was closed, that was basically uh, a representation of the Great Awakening and the end game from a, a, for a patriarchal system. So the day comes quickly when the Moabite Moorish woman will, will awaken herself and her true power and her metaphysical oneness will basically be in alignment with the universe and the cosmos. This is called the great revelation of the ages. So like I said, this is the great awakening in the Aquarian age. So everything that you see going on right now is basically in alignment to the fact that uh, mother nature is uh, waking up and everything on the planet is uh, restoring back into a hydrogen based planet, which basically uh, creates these uh, nitroids that awakes everybody up on the planet. So this is basically the highest civilization order. Right. So now when you let me go read something else. All right. So now when you look at it from that perspective. Right now, you're talking about the hexa alpha symbol. Because I told you this is basically, you know, the personification of the Great Awakening and the ending of a, a of a patriarchal system, because, you know, uh, the Aquarian age is basically predicated upon a matriarchal system that's governed by the unification of man and woman that works together with nature, right? So now when you look at this symbol right here, like I told you, when you look at the star of David, the star of David did not come from, uh, I'm not trying to be anti-Semitic or anything like that, but the original uh, star of David came from the Moors, right? Because it's a representation of the Hexa Alpha. I told you it's the unification of man and woman and working in synergy. And it's also uh, connected to the planetary alignment of the Jubilee, right? So when you're talking about the unification of man and woman, you're talking about Isis Ra El, right? Isis Ra El. So now when you look at the American seal, right? Remember is it at? When you look at the United States uh, Corporation seal, There's a hexa alpha symbol at the top of it, which is basically uh, the fallacy of the star of David. But like I said, this uh, this symbol really come from the Moors because I told you it's a representation a representation of the Fez. And when you're talking about the representation of the Fez, it means that this land uh, belongs to a people who have who has a nationality. Nationality. When you break down the etymological roots of the word nationality, it comes from the word nativity. Nativity comes from the word navel. Navel is a representation of birthright 
right? A birthright of a people who have a pedigree and that's connected to the geographical landmass of America. So everything on this planet and the people that's connected to this planet, you're gonna reap the benefits of restoration. So everything's gonna be given back to you. So even if they don't wanna give up every fucking thing that they stole from colonization and mass genocide, nature's gonna give that shit back to you. So stop, you know, uh, you know, talking about some motherfucking uh, global warming and, and climate change. Nature is working against the system to put you back in power, right? So when you look at the symbol at the top, you uh, at the top of the seal, uh, at the top of the eagle, that is a hexa alpha symbol. That is not a uh, that is not a symbol a symbol of Juda Judaism. So now, let me see. That is definitely not a symbol of Judaism. That did not that that symbol did not come from them. So now, when you look at it from that, when you look at the uh, the planetary alignment of the Jubilee year, because I told you, you know, uh, there was a portal that opened up on uh, June on June uh, 24th, 2022, and then when you break down the Vedic numerology of it, it equates to 666, which is also uh, the 33rd parallel of the of the gate of God, while at the same time, it's a dualistic principle that represents the fall of man. Uh, well, not man, but mankind, because mankind is the beast that controls a patriarchal patrilineal system. So these planetary alignments, that's basically going to be in alignment to the fact that it's going to uh, it's going to create a matriarchy because a matriarchy is galvanized by uh, the X symbol, which represents the woman in the mitochondrial gene. So like I said, when you read that passage that I just uh, read, they talk about when the uh, the original woman wakes up, that's when restoration would take place. So like I said, this is representation of the Jubilee planetary alignment. Once all these planets align, that's when everything is gonna be working in synergy because the end of the, um, of the beast's ring, you know, when you're talking about the Jubilee year, it stops in September 24th. So I wouldn't be surprised we have another uh, so-called pandemic or uh, some uh, some type of shutdown is going to take place or another form of pestilence that might take place on the planet, you know, after uh, September 24th, uh, 2022, right? And now, what, like I said, when you look at this symbol, it, represent, it looks like a star of David. That represents the woman. It does not come from uh, a patriarchal, uh, you know, Judaism or anything like that. It's not connected to monotheism. It's connected to the woman. It's connected to the original man and the, and the original woman working together with nature, which is the personification of the sun. Because I told you, uh, carbon is the building block of all civilization and the sun creates photon uh, hydrogen uh, carbon. Now when, now, when you're talking about the obelisk, right? The obelisk, like I said, this is a represent. You got to look at the last video I put out talking about the cult of Baal. Now, this is a historic, a historic obelisk in the Vatican City that was struck by lightning on June seven. Now, what does that represent? This represents uh, the end of a uh, of a patriarchal system, because patriarchy is conducive to democracy. A matriarch is conducive to republic. The inception of a republic comes from the original people. When you're talking about the Moabites, the Moors. So when you see this uh, this uh, this obelisk that was struck by lightning, that was basically in alignment to the fact that this is the the inception to the end of the system, right? And this the 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 obelisk or whatever uh, in a patrilineal system it represents the shaft of Baal. So you got to look at that last video I put out that was breaking down the reptilian bloodline and how it's connected to the cult of Baal. That's uh, connected to the dark priesthood of the Vatican Church, right? So now, when you look at it from that perspective, because like I told you, this is basically the inception to the end of they fall because they got to restore everything back. So when you're talking about the Jubilee, right? Now, when you're talking about the Jubilee, uh, this is also uh, connected to uh, biblical prophecy. Like I said, you have to know enough truth to pull the, you have to know enough history and to know enough theological, spiritual context to pull the truth out of the Bible, right? So now when you go to Leviticus chapter 25, verse 10, 
it says that uh so you are consecrate the 50th year and the proclaim of liberty in the land for the inhabitants who are the inhabitants your so-called black people you know what i'm saying the so-called black people who under who are basically under the uh, misnomer titles of uh, black African American Negro or colored, right or minority that puts you under the higher mabif, meaning that you are an unconscious more. So now, when you read the rest of it, it says it shall be your jubilee. It shall be your jubilee when each of you is returned to his property and to his clan. So everything that they stole through colonization, they got to give it back to you. And in my opinion, this is just my you know. Uh, this is just my humble opinion. If they don't give everything back, this is where I think that the galactic, you know, elders, the Anunnaki, the Elohim, or the Neturu, they they are basically going to intervene and they're going to shut this whole motherfucking thing down. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, you know, by prophecy, they're supposed to give everything back to you. And when you're talking about giving everything back to you, they got to give everything back to you that's connected to the land, right? As far as like the intrinsic metals such, such as gold and silver. So now I'm going to show you a video. When they came and took our stuff, they created a, a vacuum. So what happened to all of those banks that existed in old Canaan? What happened to all of the gold and all of the stuff that those ancient Canaanites, Moabites, Amorites, Amorites had? The point, though, is that Britain doesn't own most of this gold doesn't mind it. You hear what he said? He said, Britain does not own most of its gold. They are holding the gold because they cannot use it. Notice when the uh, stock market crashed in 1929, right? They transmuted uh, humans into humanoid real estate by giving them social security cards. You see what I'm saying? Because now you're under a form of subjugation under a fictitious uh, uh, economic system, financial system, because the money is fiat currency. Right. Because it doesn't have a gold standard because they cannot use the fucking gold because it belongs to us. You see what I'm saying? They they are basically holding the gold as hostage. So as the planet terraforms back into a, a matrilineal matriarchal system that's connected to the original people, which is connected to the land, they got to give everything that was connected to the land back to us. So all that shit, you know, everything that they stole, they got to give it back to us. That's why the money's not, you know, operating from a gold standard, because. They, they don't own the goddamn gold. It's or producers. And yet, when it leaves the country, it looks on the surface like a UK export. And that's because Britain is the world leader in looking after other people's gold. Exactly. <laughs> world leader after looking at the gold. You know what I'm saying? I told you the seal, you look at one of my last videos, the seal on Buckingham Palace is off the gate. You know what I'm saying? She's thrown out of power. You see what I'm saying? These people are basically holding seats of power until we reap the benefits of claiming our nationality. Because like I said, you if you under their misnomer titles, right, you are basically uh, giving them your birthright and your birthright is connected to the land. You see what I'm saying? So now, uh, where are we going to go? So now, when you're talking about Let's see where we're going to go. Now, you you also got to look at the fact that, uh, uh, look at Kamala Harris's uh, video when she put out a proclamation. They only had it up on the uh, internet for like 48 hours and they took it down because it was basically talking about uh, the planet, you know, re you know, the planet terraforming and giving everything back to the original people. But she was connecting everything with, you know, with misnomer titles. Because like I said, if you understand the language, they cannot fool you. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's imperative that you got to study etymology, right? So now, when you read uh, the Second Declaration of Independence, right? The Second Declaration of Independence that was signed by George, uh, not George, but uh, Donald Trump uh, on July the 4th, 2020. Now, it's imperative that you understand uh, and, and you, you, you're able to break down the verbiage in, uh, in law, in government. Right. So now when you read, <clears throat> where's it at? Here it goes. Being in control of the narrative of the foreign investors 
indigenous promoted the fallacy that America is a democracy, trusting that the deception will lead to unrest and chaos that would that that basically makes the world America uh, vulnerable, creating additional opportunities for infiltration and manipulation. Because like I told you, there's no such thing as democracy. You, democracy. you, you look at the, the Pledge of Allegiance, the Bill of Rights is not in the Constitution. You know what I'm saying? It says to the Repu- it says to the Republic, not to the democracy, because democracy is is basically the cabal that controls the planet, which is basically the cult of ball. When you like I said, you gotta look at the last video. These are all uh secret societies uh that basically galvanize the economic system and stole everything from my birthright. So Donald Trump basically uh wrote this uh declaration of uh independence, the second one, in 2020. So he he understands the science of what's what the fuck is going on. So it is by, you know, uh, galactic and universal law that they got to put, you know, everything to the forefront. But it's up to you to have the mental fortitude to reap the benefits of everything that belongs to you by way of nationality. So now there's another one. There's another passage. Now, it says like a ball of a... Uh, a cabal of nation building venture capitals, basically financed by America, right? Yeah, here it goes. Including to the uh, usurpations of a, adoption of the second corporate constitution, uncertain ratification of several amendments destructive to the people. What people? You're talking about the people who belong to the land. Because like I said, they usurped everything because it's basically uh, connected to us by ancestry. We, we are the only ones on this planet that have a bloodline and a birthright and a pedigree. So that's why they put this out. You see what I'm saying? But, so this is basically the fall of the cabal and the rise of a chosen people that's connected to the land. So now, where are we going to go? So now, like I said, you know, the jubilee, the last jubilee year that we had was in uh, 1884 from 1885. And this Jubilee year was, they was basically supposed to set us free, but we did not wake up to the misnomer titles that was basically uh, connected to their, uh, uh, the Black Christian Code, the 1724 Black Christian Codes. That's also connected to the 14th Amendment, which is a, a fraudulent contract because it was never ratif- ratified. Right. So when you read the federal laws and civil procedures, they tells you that there's a difference in the delineation between a Ninth Amendment citizen and a 14th Amendment citizen, because your straw man, your misnomer title is what connects you to the black, the Christian black codes. Right. That's propagated by the Vatican that's connected to the bloody oath of secrecy that puts you under the higher mabiff, which makes you a corpse to the corporation because you don't know who the fuck you are. So now. Like I said, the last Jubilee year ended in 1865. This is why this is why it's imperative to understand dates. Because when you look at the date 1865, it says that the Black Code is officially adopted by several states. So now the states, you know what I'm saying, basically put you back in, in a form of subjugation because now they they tricked you into uh uh they tricked you into basically saying, like, oh, now you're an American citizen. That, you know, there's no such thing as an American citizen. You cannot be an American citizen and an American at the same time. In order to be an American, you have to have a nationality. When you're an American citizen, that connects you to the fictitious corporation. You see what I'm saying? But the corporation is falling because uh, a corporation does not work in synergy with a matriarchal system because a matriarchy is galvanized by nature. So like I said, that's why it's imperative that, you know, uh, we, we, we got to, you know, break down these parameters, you know, by, you know, by not being married to these uh, misnomer uh, nomenclature titles that, that connect you to their system. Because when you read uh, the Uniform Commercial Code titled uh, 322, it says that, you know, America's all, always been a republic, but it's been reverted to a corporation. You see what I'm saying? And then you can look at that in uh, the United States Constitution, Article 4, Section 4, right? So now, where are we going to go? Now, like I said, the planet in itself is terraforming. 
back into his uh, original frequency, original balance. You see what I'm saying? And also, you know, with that being said, you know, you got the Vatican that was, uh, you know, bombed or, or the Vatican, it caught on fire because like I told you, you know, the anatomy of the six of the being, the, the anatomy of the people who do not belong to the planet, what's, what's happening is, is that when you lack the, the, the genetical properties that connect you to the cosmos and the universal creator, that, that's why they created religion through uh, the usurpation of the uh, Vatican Church or, or Vatican uh, Popes of Rome, right? Because they created a spiritual system, a fictitious spiritual system, because they don't have the, the genetical makeup to connect with the creator. In order to connect with the creator, you have to have neuromelanin. Your neuromelanin produces neurons and the neurons connect you to uh, your higher self or what you call as God. Because God is the highest extension of the mind, which uses the elements of matter to express itself that connects you to the uh, the supreme architect of the universe. Or when you're talking about the Galactic Federation, the, uh, the Anunnaki or the Elohim, you can't connect with the creator because nature, well, they can't connect with the uh, creator because nature rejects their anatomy. So this is why you got all these heat waves going on. So now when you look at this uh, passage right here, it says Rome is on fire. It says the Vatican is burning. So now I'm gonna play this video. <laughs> So you see what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying, that they uh, they venerated all through uh, Western and Eurocentric culture is being destroyed because these monoliths, these, these mega structures on the planet is what holds up the three-dimensional matrix. You see what I'm saying? They got obelisks placed in certain places. You got uh, the Eiffel Tower and, and uh, you got the, the, the St. Louis Arc. You got all these, these uh, pointless mega structures in certain geographical locations because it basically galvanizes the three-dimensional matrix. So don't be surprised when you see uh, things like the Golden Gate Bridge get destroyed or the St. Louis Arc or the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty because all these things is basically galvanized by the three-dimensional Piscean energy that's uh, governed by a patriarchal system and they gotta be destroyed, right? So now, like I said, it's gotta be destroyed because like I told you, uh, there's a portal that opened up on June uh, 24, 2020, 666, which represents, the, uh, represents the, the uplifting of the original people and the downfall of mankind, who was the beast, the 16th of genetical uh, beings that, you know, control the world today. So what that basically means is that the sun uh, is basically created a portal that opened up a fourth and fifth dimensional frequency that is hitting a planet and is making a planet hotter. And with so when it's making a planet hotter, it is basically uh, creating all types of heat waves that is basically destroying people who are not natural to the planet. So now you got all these articles, right? You got all these articles. It says heat wave kills more than uh, 1,100 people in Spain and Portugal. But like I said, when you're talking about mankind, you're talking about the same people who have uh, the straight hair which is six ether genetical properties, which is uh, recessive genetics. So when I'm talking about recessive genetics, I'm not, you know, being uh, intrusive or trying to be cynical, but what I'm basically saying is, is that if people understood their true origin, they will have a lot more respect for black people. And if black people understood their true origin and that they're basically the progenitors of, uh, of life on this planet, they have a lot more respect for themselves. You see what I'm saying? But they don't tell you the truth about genetics that's basically in alignment to the future because, you know what I'm saying, these people are not dealing with reality. So like I said, this heat wave is killing people who are not natural to the planet. So now you got, like I said, you got the heat wave ap apocalypse in Europe, which, you know what I'm saying, you got uh, record-breaking temperatures. You know what I'm saying? This is real. These are all prophetic events. Europe heat wave. You see what I'm saying? It's a warning of an indication that, you know what I'm saying, whatever can happen in the future, because it's going to get hotter, you know what I'm saying? And if it gets hotter, you know what I'm saying, that energy and the frequency and the vibration of that sun is only going to be acclimated to people, to a certain people who have carbon and neuromelanin in their skin. You see what I'm saying?
So, and then you're talking about, you know, uh, the destruction of the Georgia Guidestones, right? So, all this stuff, like I said, all their monoliths and their mega structures being destroyed because everything got to go, everything that's unnatural. Because the Georgia Guidestones was conducive to uh, population control uh, that's connected to the National uh, the National Memorandum 200 that was signed by uh, Henry Kissinger in 1975. So population control is unnatural. Why would you want to kill off, you know what I'm saying, uh, a certain demographic of people through inoculation shots, right? Because you know that the inoculation shots is, you know, can uh, disrupt uh, the awakening of the the original genetics of the of the deoxyetheric acid when you got 13 strands of DNA, the junk DNA. So the sun is connected to that. So they don't want you to reap the benefits of that, that solar transmission that's hitting the planet. So this is why they use those inoculation shots as a form of a population control and as a form to lock down your uh, your spiritual genetics by putting an encryption on your anatomy. So now we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you this video by showing you the reality that the planet is uh, going back into its original state. Hail and Dubnyani, Hodonin, Czech Republic. A big flood in Port Arthur right now. Proctor, Blue Bonnet, and Thomas streets are badly flooded. Texas, USA. A severe storm hit Oman. Power has been cut off in many areas. A little rain and you can swim. See how this road in Lagos is flooded after heavy rain. Nigeria. <laughs> Breathtaking scene from Toluca, Mexico. A river of hail flows down the street. Like I said, you know, the inception of their end starts in September 24, uh, 2022. So don't be surprised when you start seeing all this shit start happening in, in, uh, in the geographical landmass of America. Because all this shit, you know what I'm saying, it's got to end. You know what I'm saying? Because the planet has to terraform back into its original state. And then the people connected to the land will reap the, reap the benefits of all the resources that's connected to the land. So the planet is being judged right now by a divine feminine energy that's hitting the stratosphere and permeating the planet. Typhoon Chaba in southern China. Tornado in Foshan City, China. Large hail in Saunara, province of Padua, Italy. Consequences of the earthquake in Iran. An earthquake of magnitude 6.1 occurred in the province of Hormozgan in southern Iran. Video of the devastating forest fire in Dunashka Strata. Severe flooding in the department of San Salvador forced the evacuation of 22 people who were at risk from flooding caused by the rains of Tropical Storm Bonnie. Salvador. Disaster in Craiova after rain accompanied by a squall that lasted 50 minutes. Dozens of cars were washed away, roofs fell off, electricity poles fell, yards and houses were flooded. Romania. The Ibico volcano in the Kuril Islands threw out to a height of... Now, if you look at that, look at that, it looked like a face. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the spirit and the soul of the Elohim is here. But, you know, like I said, as the planet is terraforming, man, this, everything is going to be destroyed. Everything that was created, you know, uh, you know, through their system, through colonization, uh, mass genocide, you know, the usurpation of knowledge, all that shit got to end. It's being destroyed of up to two kilometers. Russia. Heavy rain with hail in Izki and Jabal al-Akhtar, Oman. Oh 
Itaiba, Pernambuco, the municipality has declared a state of emergency due to heavy and incessant rains. About 50 families were evacuated. Brazil. Australia. Thousands ordered to evacuate Sydney as heavy rains caused life-threatening emergency. The Sydney area has experienced some of the heaviest rainfall in decades. Heavy flooding after rain in Elena tonight. Montana, USA. A strong hurricane passed in Yakusha. 18 people were injured. Bad weather broke out during the opening of the stadium in the Ust Alden region. The wind blew people, structures, power lines, and billboards. 18 people were injured, including three children. Baseball sized hail plus, five miles south of Vasta, South Dakota, USA. Heavy rains and strong currents in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Severe storm in Cave Springs, Arkansas, USA. Mud flow with huge boulders in the Hunza Valley, Pakistan. Close-up footage shows the moment a tornado tore off the roof of a house in Guangzhou this afternoon. China. Yesterday there was a torrential hailstorm on the streets of Sana'a, Yemen. Flooding in the city of you know Yon. See, you see how much shit that they don't really show you. You always got to go to different, you know, uh, television networking systems and you got to go to forums in order to get this information. They're not going to broadcast this stuff on, you know, world news because they want to keep you in the dark about how the planet is starting to change. China. More than 3 million people were left homeless and 5 million houses were destroyed in the recent floods in Salat. More than 100 people died in a month. 64 districts were affected. Government agencies said 75 people died from drowning, 15 from lightning, 2 from snake bites, and the rest from other causes. You know, I'm going to stop right there. So this is, you know, uh, basically a great reset and an end game precursor for the Great Awakening. So with that being said, man, uh, it's important that you, you know, uh, internalize this information and use it for utility because, it, you know, you have to use this information in the future because you got to connect the dots to, in order to know what the fuck is going on. Because, you know, uh, everything that belongs to us, you know what I'm saying, is talking about the gold standard. When you understand uh, the origins of creation and how everything, you know, was created on this planet, when the Anunnaki, when they came here, you know what I'm saying, they was looking for the gold because they knew that this land was plentiful of gold according to all the different geographical land masses outside the ice wall and, and, and different planets and things of that nature. That's why they came here. But the when they when the Anunnaki, when they created, you know, some of the Nubians here, the goal, you know what I'm saying, is basically connected to us. You know what I'm saying? We are, we are the uh, the progenitor, progenitors of that birthright. You know what I'm saying? Because we're the only people on this planet that have a nationality. Because like I said, you got to look at uh, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 10. It tells you verbatim, that everything that, you know, the elites, the oligarchy, the plistocracy, they, they got to let us go. You know what I'm saying? But it's up to us to have the mental and spiritual fortitude to um, reap the benefits of that by, you know, connecting back to our original uh, historical spiritual systems. Right. You know what I'm saying? You are not black people. You know what I'm saying? Even when you look at when you call yourself a Christian, you're still calling yourself black. When you look at the G3526 strong concordance. It means black when you break down the etymology of it. Because like I told you, you got to study the language. Because if you don't study the language, they're going to always be able to put you in a state of deception. So with all that shit being said, uh, thanks for watching this video. <clears throat> Get this video out there. Uh, because, you know, uh, it's also connected to uh, prophetic events that's taking place on the planet. And, you know, so we, we on a ride right now. You know what I'm saying? 
all the, all types of shit is getting ready get, get ready to happen in the future. So um, get to get this video out there, uh, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel because they unsubscribe the people from my uh, from my platform because of the information that I'm putting out. I'm putting out you know high level information, and you know what I'm saying that's waking up the people because they know I'm connected to the youth. They know I'm connected to uh, the older crowd as well, just based upon. Uh, uh, my presentation. You see what I'm saying? So with all that shit being said, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Get the video out there. And uh be, you know, feel free to chop this video up and, and, and certain things that you like and just and put it on different social media platforms. We got to get this information out there, man. You know what I'm saying? This, this is very important. So uh thanks for watching. Uh I'll be back with another one next week.